It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Kevin Carr. And this is It's Movie Time. It is. Last time I checked. And nine? Actually, actually nine? ten. If you I count, know. If you count Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw, yeah. there have been nine Fs. So this is F9, otherwise known yep. as Fast and Furious. Yes. And the ninth time around. Kevin, how does this happen? I mean, why? <laughs> How, how can it be possible anything as vacant as these are allegedly to be? Yeah. How can it be that successful? Well, I, I, that's, the short answer is they found a formula and they sort of eventually got to it. Uh, also, they're, 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 they're made for an international audience that breaks language barriers because you do not have to understand the plot. <laughs> And it's also, and, and you know, to its credit, it's very diverse casting. So, you know, it plays well in South America. It plays well in Asia. It plays well in African markets and European markets. So, it, it has such a part of it is because the cast is so massively huge. Everybody sees themselves in the cast. And look at it, once again, I give casting directors credits. Mm -hmm. First of all, Vin Diesel's amazing. To yeah, I, I love the guy. I love his character. His stoic. I love, I love Vin Diesel's passion for what he does. Yes. I may not always love his movies, <laughs> but I love the fact <laughs> that he loves making these things. Right, right. Well, in this one, I see a kind of Bond influence here. There's something oh, yeah. that gets global or universal about some some bomb or something that they're putting together. It's such, kind of a non, it. it's such a nonsense plot. I've tried to explain <laughs> it to know. people, and I'm like, because I watch it, and I, and, and, and I may have dozed off at one point, I may have just, did I miss something, or is just the writing that silly? Anyway, so they're going to, so, and, and this even takes a Pontiac Fiero into, into orbit. Yes. <laughs> this is, this is absurdity. To, to put it, let me just tell you where this has gone from the franchise. And we'll talk more about the whole franchise <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. at another time. Yeah. But the first movie, they were stealing VCRs and running red lights. <laughs> In one. this movie, they're Good going one. to space. <laughs> Excellent, yes. <laughs> and, you know, Kevin, like anything, and we've often talked about this, you give yourself to it, all right? Yeah. You, you, you say, ah, I know this is going to be absurd, yeah. but I can enjoy absurdity. Yeah. Uh, it's not Beckett, but it's you know it's 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 funny in its own you're in its seeing way. It, yeah, you're seeing it for the kitsch. You're seeing it for the yeah, silliness. Right. You're seeing it for the. I mean, and uh, when it comes to just the action set pieces oh, are Kevin fantastic. If not, I mean, they don't exist in any sort of real practical world of physics. Right. right yeah. I mean, they're they're really cool to watch. Early on, mm -hmm. they're ra racing through the jungle mm -hmm. in, in in like sports cars. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it's like they're going through the jungle and there's landmines going off. <laughs> These cars, if they just hit a speed bump too fast, they'll destroy their undercarriage. But I'm telling you, I'm laughing. Wayne's laughing. My whole retinue, because there's nobody else in the audience. Yeah. And we're laughing. And well, and what's, here's the thing that, that when it comes to the absurdity, you know, you talk about that. That's, that's the point of this. You're just, you're watching this spectacle. You're watching this silliness. That's okay. It's an escape. And, and they know that. And at the point, there's a character, Tyrese's character is becoming self-aware. He's realizing that they're in some stupid movie franchise, yes. and, and they're at least nodding and looking at the audience and going, hey, look, this is ridiculous, but just go with it. Isn't he, didn't he, isn't he the one that catalogs some of the uh, yeah. absurd uh, adventures he, he, they've had? He's like, well, we've done this, this, this we've isn't. Done, right, it's, it's like this looking at normal. itself and saying. <laughs> you, you see this every now and then. I, I've seen it in TV series before. The IT crowd did this once. I know Grey's Anatomy actually did this once. Uh, where it becomes self-aware and says, hey, what happens to us is not normal. <laughs> and, and, and that's really, that, that, first of all, that realizes you've hit a, a stride in your work when you can have your characters become self-aware, but it's, it's also a nice little wink in the night of the audience. As they're talking about perhaps they're being immortal. Yeah, which is of course an allusion to all of these these fantastic hero films, superhero films. Well, and not only that, I mean, this is like uh, this is like a comic book or a soap opera. People are coming back to life, and you know, there's no big no big surprise that Sun Kang is back as as Han. That's right. Yes, and 
I remember talking to, uh, I, I won't name her, nameless, but he's a mutual friend of ours, and I said, well, he'll come back, and, the, and this person's like, no way, he was blown up and burned to death and everything, and I'm like, nine comes up, and I'm like, well, there he is. Oh, right. You know, it's like, and nobody dies in this franchise, and everybody's a good guy, you know, even like Jason Statham's a bad guy, but they're bringing him in as a good guy in Hobbs and Shaw. It was so great to see if he had a cameo. Yeah, and, and yeah. It was just delightful. We don't get Dwayne Johnson. No. No, okay, but we do get safe man. You know what, has he been in before? Kurt Russell? Yeah, yeah, he was in at least the last one. I, I, I lose track of them. Well, I can't, and that's why when we talk about it in our blog, I'm going to rely on you. Yeah. And the history of this begins to blend together, but we don't have to be accurate about the titles. Uh, well, no, because the titles make no sense. <laughs> the, titles, the titles of Fast and Furious are like Windows releases. <laughs> you know, you count, you know... One three point one one ninety five ninety eight NT. You know that's that's basically what these these movies are. I actually said to the rep, I was able to list the names of all the movies, <laughs> and she was impressed. And it's her account, so I don't understand. But it's I mean it's the point is they've reached that level. They've they've gone past James. Bond. you mentioned James Bond, they kind of hit James Bond at like six or seven. Now we're into Austin Powers territory. <laughs> yes, we are. But that's okay. It's it's fun to watch, and it's no more ridiculous than a Marvel movie. Oh no, no, you, no. you got a you got a the space god with a hammer, and, you know, in, and a giant green monster, rage monster. There's no difference between that and Dominic Toretto driving a car without a seatbelt. One person in this movie, one person puts on a seatbelt. You got him. You got him. Oh, Cap. Um, talk to me about the the annoying part of the film for me. Okay, is the constant hammering about family. Well, that's the theme. They 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 I they've know. been pushing that. Oh gosh, I I mean I, I don't know if they did that in the first couple ones. It's been a long time since I've seen the first couple ones, but I know certainly th there was a turn that the series made from in four to five that it turned into the James Bond movies, and. They've really been hammering that home, especially since Paul Walker died. Yes, yeah. And then we even have a little boy named after his character. I think so, yeah. Ryan. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we do have to bring back... Who babysits that kid? I have no idea. Is there are two of them. There well, twins. yeah, but... Oh, there are? Yeah. I didn't notice that. It, well, I mean, not in the film. In, for the act. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, I'm saying who babysits them. They go oh, on a mission. Wasn't and they that leave, funny, Kevin? They leave the kid in the bunker. <laughs> media thing of both I and my companion <laughs> I said, now there must be a grandmotherly figure somewhere, somewhere to take care of this kid, but they just dropped it, they, which I think is part of the fun of it. <laughs> there's no logic needed in this movie, and that's again, that's what's, what, it is not about trying to make sense of, even when they describe what the uh, what the what, what the, the MacGuffin is they're going after yes, right. it's like it, is, it sounds like it was pitched by like a three-year-old. It's a it's a thing that makes you control all computers everywhere. And I'm like, well, that's a little general. You don't want to drill down a little bit and say it's gonna like work on like you know weapon satellite or no, but it's just it well, controls everything. Typically, you neutralize my anger about home because I really do like that theme, and it's in so many superhero films. Oh, yeah. Uh, and here, and the way that Vin Diesel delivers it, I have to admit, is pretty sweet. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the other thing with the family, uh, that, that's, that's la there's a big deal with John Cena playing Don's brother, who you've never heard of before for, I mean, no, he just again, makes no sense. His brother in. <laughs> it's just, well, we got another big muscle guy who's going <laughs> to act in here. Let's put him in there. Oh, with Don's brother. Uh, well, Kev, what would you advise our audience? About this film, don't think about it. <laughs> but go see it; it's fun. I think F Nine is the Fast Saga. Is the full title? Yes. F Nine colon the F9, Fast Saga. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I will say that many of our theaters are so tricked out with uh, cushiony chairs and yeah. big sound, like I saw in the Dolby. Uh, it is as fun to go back to the movies for fun. Yeah. And I do realize it is like two and a half hours. Yes, long. it is. So the, these movies do tend to run long. <laughs> as as our show tends to do now. Ah, uh, that's my fault. <laughs> I know.